Today's video, we're going to be eating brunch at 7-Eleven in Taipei, Taiwan. Let's go. Well, we got kicked out of another 7-Eleven. That makes five 7-Elevens that we've been kicked out of, but we're still going to finish this video. So let's go find another 7-Eleven that hopefully doesn't kick us out. Let's go. All right, just snuck into a 7-Eleven and it's time to do some ninja filming. One thing I like about 7-Eleven Taiwan is that they have so many different variety of items. They got candy, they got lotion, cream, they got cookies and more. They even have technology, like, look at this gaming headset. Oh man. And not only that, they also have a wireless gamepad too if you want to play games. 7-Eleven has everything. For instance, you can also get some cosmetics, scissors, lip balm, toothbrushes, and so much more. There's so many different variety of items over here. Oh wow. For instance, want a Lidl and Stitch car? That's pretty cute. They even have a Hello Kitty item over here. What the heck? What is this for? Just look at this whole aisle of chips. They have so many different products. Like Doritos, they got Palapata. They got some weird flavors I've never seen before. There's just so many different chips. Layers and layers of chips everywhere. Check out this ramen aisle. He doesn't have so many different ones. But one in particular, let me show you, is this one right here. Oh. This brand has amazing pieces of ramen and meat. Like there's actual meat inside here. That is delicious. We gotta get one of these. And there's actually four different kinds. Oh, which is yeah. so good. Check out this drink aisle here. They got so many different drinks. Super Super is my favorite. Fin, Papari Sweat. They have all types of drinks over here. Oh, wow. They also have all these cool milks over here. For instance, like you got watermelon milk. You got some guava or what is this? Some type of fruit milk, apple milk, cafe milk, malt milk. There's so many different varieties. They even have this one weird one. Asparagus juice. What the heck? Who drinks asparagus juice? Huh? Should I get it? I don't know. Maybe. Well, I love most of my 7 Eleven is the food, and that's what especially what they're known for. Of course, you got like all these yogurts, you got salads over here, fruit, you got spaghetti with hot dogs. That's cool. There's so many different things. You got bento boxes over here. You got rice dishes too. Oh wow. There's cold noodles. Sandwiches. You know we gotta get one of these. There's just so many different things. Oh man. I'm getting hungry. What's that being said? I'm just looking at all these food that the 7-Eleven has. I'm getting so hungry. Let's go grab a basket and get some food. Let's grab a basket. Let's grab one of this. Asparagus juice. Let's just try it out. Hopefully it's good. Cold sesame noodle. Let's also grab a creamy bacon spaghetti. They also have this boiled eggs. Boiled egg with rosy salt. What is that? That was good. Let's try this out. Put it in the bag. You know we gotta get a ramen. And that's what we got right here. They also have a variety of cold sesame noodles, but I think this one we should go for. There's so many different things. Eggs, cucumber, chicken. Yes, please. There's also a bento box over here. It looks pretty good. Let's try this out. Let's also grab this potato salad. I love potato salad. And also let's grab a sandwich. I don't see the egg sandwich no more, but this one should still work. This one looks good. Got the tea egg. This is good. We also have desserts over here. As you can see, they got quite a few different varieties. Oh, oh, it looks so good. Especially these. Like, look at all these desserts. These are so delicious. Oh man. I don't know which one I want, but I think the one that I want to pick is definitely this. This is my favorite. Get it all the time if I go to 7-Eleven. We got to get one of these. All right, we got a whole basket right here. That's a lot of food. Let's go pay for it. All right, after getting kicked out of eight 7-Elevens, we finally managed to finish the video. We were doing a little bit of video recording at every one of the 7-Elevens, so some of the 7-Elevens might look a little bit different, but in the end, we finished the video, and it's time to eat, so let's go back to our house and enjoy, because they won't let us film in there, so yeah, we can only go back to our house. Anyways, let's go. Starting off with the hot foods, we got this soy sauce chicken bento. Let's open the top, as you can see. This is what it looks like. Oh man, doesn't that look so delicious? Now, the vegetables are kind of little, but then again, all the items seem very little in portion, but it is very cheap, so let's try it out. Oh, let's try, this. Let's try the chicken. Let's get a little bit of everything. Get some broccoli, get some eggs, get some mushrooms, get some rice, and let's try it. Oh, this smells so good. Mmm. Oh, that is very good. Chicken itself, I mean, not chicken, the broccoli itself, not mushy whatsoever. It has a little bit of crunch to it. 
eggs, nice and fluffy and soft. Mushroom, you know it's a mushroom. It's nice and bouncy, earthy. Very good. Oh, but combine it together, it makes for an explosion of flavor. Let's try a chicken too. Chicken itself looks really nice. Very juicy and moist. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that chicken is good. It is so juicy and tender. And it has a nice soy flavor. Very nice. Not too salty, just right. How much is this? This is actually very cheap. This is only 89 yuan, so, so it's around like $3 or less for this entire bento. And this is a very filling bento, you know, chicken is done right, vegetables done right, eggs, mushroom. This is good, but once you combine everything together, that's where the magic happens. Next up, we got our second hot food, which is the creamy bacon spaghetti. As you can see, this looks absolutely delicious. Now, 7-Eleven has a whole bunch of foods, all of which is cold, but some of which can actually be heated up right at 7-Eleven. And they have microwaves over there. You gotta do it yourself or they'll do it for you. It just depends on which 7-Eleven you go to. And if you're wondering just how high for or how long you'll have to heat it up for, you see right over here, there's a number right here and that's the number you press on the microwave. And that will tell you, that will heat it up exactly to the correct temperature. And this looks absolutely delicious. Let's open this up. Oh man. You can smell the creamy sensation, garlicky flavors, a lot of cheese and bacon. Oh, this sounds so good. Let's give it a bite and oh man, this seems moist. Like when I took it out the freezer second, it didn't look all that appetizing. But then again, this does smell good. Let's get a little bit of air to get some bacon. There's some hot dogs in here. Get some creamy spaghetti and let's give it a try. Mmm. Oh, that is good. Good, especially that sauce that pairs with spaghetti. Like the spaghetti itself just wraps itself all around that sauce and gives each and every bite a nice creamy sensation and flavor. Hot dog itself is not bad. Has a nice snappy pull, very porky taste. Overall, good hot dog. But at the end, this is a pretty simple dish. Not as good as the first bento we had. That first bento was a chicken and rice and vegetables. That was good. This is still good on its own, but you know, it could use a little bit more help. But it is not bad in the end, especially if you love pasta, this will totally work for you. Next up, we got the soft boiled egg with mashed potato, which is basically like an Asian potato salad. You can see, it looks pretty nice. There's a soft boiled egg, some ham, and some mashed potato. Let's give it a try. Let's get a little bit of everything. Let's get some egg, get some uh, mashed potato, and got a good chunk. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Oh. That is delicious. You know, there's something about an Asian mashed potato that always piques my interest. Like, you know, I know I had mashed potato many times back in the U.S., but something about the Asian mashed potato where, I don't know if it's the carrots, corn, stuff like that, the vegetables they have inside, or what type of sauce, sauce or seasoning, something about it just tastes so good. It's so rich, fluffy, and creamy. Mmm. Next up, we got our New Orleans roast chicken with vegetables. As you can see, this is what it looks like over here. It's only 65 yuan, which is around $2.10 around, so pretty cheap. You know, I had this back when I was in quarantine inside the hotel, and I absolutely love it. I want to try to get this because it just tastes so good. As you can see, each package has two sandwiches. Well, it's technically one sandwich cut in half, but still, not bad. Let's take this out over here. Ooh, it's a little hard to take out. All right, got it out. I see this is what it looks like. Oh, this looks so good. Now, I do have to say, it's not a lot of meat if you open it up. It's only like a few little portions of meat. This doesn't cover half the sandwich, but it's a flavor that counts and it tastes so good. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Oh. Ooh. Got some spicy kick to it. Not bad. Chicken itself, I have to say, is very juicy very tender, but the key here that makes the sandwich so delicious is that sauce, because once you bite into the sandwich, you get a nice uh, creamy yet spicy kick that's a little bit, uh, I have to say, it's a little bit spicy, it's not light and spice, but it matches so well in flavor with the chicken. Lettuce, you know, I have to say, not fan of the lettuce, it's, it's just very soggy, not really alive, or so to say, but everything else about the sandwich, really good. However, I will say is that, you know, if they did have the egg salad sandwich over there, I would probably get that over this one because that thing is way better than this. This is good on its own. It's just, I wish there was a little bit more meat, but it's, it's not bad for what it is. Egg salad sandwich is where it's at. All right, next up, we got the chicken cold noodle with sesame sauce. I can see this right here. Oh, as you know, I love cold noodles. It's one of my all-time favorite dishes to have. 
back any time of the year. It is just always so enjoyable and delicious. And this one here looks pretty good too. After all, it is really cheap. I think it's only like 59 yuan, which is only like $2, $2 for this amazing chicken noodle sesame dish. Absolutely amazing. So I just combined everything that was in the package. So I put in the eggs, cucumber, and shredded chicken, especially with the sesame sauce and mixed it all up. Oh, I can tell you how good this smells. That strong sesame aroma. Oh, it is absolutely divine. Let's give it a bite. Let's grab a little bit of everything, get some nice eggs, cucumber, some shredded chicken, and let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That is amazing. I don't know if you guys have ever had sesame noodles before, especially the cold sesame noodles. Something about it is just so delicious. It's like, if you love peanut butter or nutty flavors, definitely try the cold sesame noodles. Like, noodles itself, perfectly al dente, nice, chewy, bouncy, wraps perfectly around that sauce. Then you got that garlicky flavor that it has the paste that you put in. Oh man, gives a whole bunch of sensation overload. This is delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Even though it's light, it's very simple in concept. It's just eggs, cucumber, and chicken. But it is absolutely delicious. This is one dish you have to try if you ever go to Asia. I think it's all over Asia too. You can probably get it in Korea, you can get it in China, you can get it in Thailand, stuff like that. But if you ever go to Asia, definitely try the cold sesame noodles. Oh man, we tried so many foods already. I, I'm getting full, but still. We got some more items to go. And next one is this, not really looking forward to the asparagus juice. Um, yeah, apparently this is a thing in Taiwan. Like, they have so many different vegetable juice. They have carrot juice, asparagus juice, there's some potato juice, they have apple juice or apple milk, watermelon milk, and so much more. This is interesting. Let's give this a try. I never had asparagus juice before. I'm very intrigued. Oh, that just smells really good. Oh, that's what asparagus juice tastes like? That's actually pretty good. What the? Hold on, let me get a little bit more. Oh, I can see why people love this drink in Taiwan. This is actually pretty good. It's weird at first because, you know, especially me being from the US, I'm not used to saying stuff like this, especially asparagus juice. But once you actually try it out, it's not bad. It's sweet, has a light, subtle asparagus flavor, but quite delicious. I'm actually enjoying this. And it's cold too, so it's perfect for the hot weather day. This is good. Oh, weird, but good. Next up, we got the super hot pot beef flavor instant noodles. Oh, this smells so good. Let's open it up. Oh man. But after prepping the noodles, I have to say it smells so good. Oh man. Now I do have to mention the one that I got. Let me tear off the lid. It's actually this one right here, which is a little bit different from some of the other YouTubers. Most of them usually get the chili beef, which is a little bit bigger meat in chunks. The one that I got is a hot pot beef flavor. So the beef is a little bit smaller in size, but still not too bad. But anyways, let's give it a try. I am excited. Oh. This looks so good. As you can tell, this brand of noodle actually has real chunks of meat inside. Just look at this meat. Oh, that looks so good. Although there's only like five or six pieces of meat. It's very little, but hey, it's instant noodles. It's cheap and it's worth the try. So with that being said, let's grab a little bit of everything. Actually, let's try the noodles first. I want to see how the noodles taste. Because this one looks actually really nice. And it's going in. Oh, whoa, that is spicy. Oh, oh, wow, that has some spice to it. But noodles are so absolutely amazing. Very soft, bouncy, firm noodles that soaks up all the rich, brothy flavor. You can definitely taste the beefy taste, the spice, and everything. The noodle itself is just so good. Like, it literally soaks up all of the flavor. This is so good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah, that is good. Let's try the meat now too. I can see this is the meat over here. Now depending on which box you buy, they have like four different boxes and each one is a different flavor. And this one right here, like 
I don't know how it's supposed to taste. I don't know what kind of cut of beef it is. But this one, I don't know if it's a beef shank or something, but let's give it a try. Mmm. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Beef itself is very tender, very soft, has a nice, strong, beefy taste. You can't even tell that it's been like sitting in a package or on a shelf for days. Like, it, it just tastes so good. Plus, when you pair it together with this broth and noodles, Oh, it's just a combination overload. And as you can see, they even have fatty pieces too. Like, look at this. This is just beef fat floating around. Oh, man. Pair it with the noodles. Mmm. Oh. Absolutely delicious. If you guys ever get a chance to go to Taiwan, Japan, or any, any Asian country, look for this this brand of noodle it doesn't have to be this flavor they have four flavors but whichever one you get will taste absolutely delicious i guarantee you they even have a pork flavored one which i should have got because i love pork more than beef but still not too bad it's absolutely a winner definitely do give it a try oh man that noodle was good but anyways we are finally down to our last item which is dessert now i wanted to get some donuts or something but you know each 7-eleven is different and each one of them have different items the 7-eleven that i went to were actually eight or nine of them that I went to didn't have a donut area but they did have a dessert area they have so many different variety of desserts oh man it is so intriguing and the one I got is a Japanese dessert like this and the year many years before for a kind of time and long ago they used to have this in pouches and if you open the pouch you have different flavors you can get a peach flavor grape flavor melon apple stuff like that and a small ice ball that taste so delicious you bite into it and just melts fruity flavor. I don't see any 7-Elevens carrying the pouch anymore, but they are carrying this, which is the same brand, and uh, it looks like it's a ball too, I think. So I'm assuming they just changed packaging. I'm not sure, but let's give it a try. Let's twist this open. Open like this. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's like a, what is this? Is this the ball? Oh, so this is a whole tube of grape flavored popsicle or something this i don't know if the camera can catch it but this is what it looks or this is what it looks like like i think it's just a whole tube of grape flavored popsicle i thought it was gonna be ball shaped because if you look at the tube it's all balls but this is not a ball this is a tube now let's give it a try mm. oh that is good that is good that is amazing wow that's what I'm talking about. This is why I love this dessert so much. This, like every time I go to Taiwan, I always get, well not the grape flavor one, I get the peach or melon, but they didn't have any of those. They only had the grape flavor one over here. But this has such a strong fruity sensation. And if I'm correct, I'm not sure. I think they use real fruits to make this uh, ice or popsicle or whatever. I don't think they use artificial flavors. I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong. But, <coughs> oh, the spice is still getting to me. But this is delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. That is good. Really cold though. But very good. And cut. I want to say a big thank you to 7-Eleven. Actually, no. I don't want to say thank you to 7-Eleven. They kicked us out eight times for filming and taking pictures. Did you know you are not allowed to film or take pictures in any of the major stores in Taiwan? I don't know why. I think it's because YouTubers did it before and they didn't like it. I'm not sure. But we still managed to record our videos. We did it. We had to do some ninja moves, some sneaking around, but we got our video. And I had to say the foods that we ordered were actually pretty good. Like the cold sesame noodles, absolutely delicious. I love how the noodles wraps around the sesame flavor and just tastes so good. The chicken rice bento, absolutely amazing we got the sandwiches you know we got the spaghetti and so much more like i have to say if you guys are ever in the city of taipei taiwan definitely go to 7-eleven try out their food you will absolutely love it. it's cheap and delicious just know you can't film more or take pictures in there but other than that not too bad but anyways that's it for the video thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you on the next video in taiwan